What's up guys? I'm sorry it's been a minute since I made a video. I know some people like me to post regularly and I wasn't able to do that because I've been working on a short film called Small Gains. Something I'm very excited about, very talented cast and crew, and yeah, so I was filming that and now I'm in post-production. I will try to make sure that I adjust my time correctly so I can still put out weekly videos and work on my short film at the same time. With that being said, uh, here's an exclusive look at the first shots from Small Gains. What was that? That had nothing to do with Small Gains. That, that was not video I shot. I don't know where that... What? You like cats? I don't care that you like cats, Philip. I don't even think that was a cat. It looked like a big rodent of some kind, but... you. You can't find the foot. Uh, fine, I'll find the footage. Let's try that again. Here's the first look at small gains. Well, there you go. That was the first official look at uh, the short film called Small Gains. Very excited about this film, like I said. Very talented cast and crew. Everybody worked real hard. It's going to be released on my second channel called Lunascope Media, which is where I release all my short narrative work that I own and hasn't been contracted out to somebody else where I don't own it and have to sign NDA agreements and whatnot. Um, yeah, so... Without further ado, I've been excited to say this, by the way. Roll that bumper. About two months ago, I made a video pitting against each other what I thought at the time were the best small video lights on the market. And for the most part, that video was very well received. A lot of people liked it. The only criticism I took is that people said the Loom Cube was not all it was cracked up to be, and there was a better version of that kind of light on the market. That light was called the Lytra Torch, and since then, another light has come out in that Lytra Torch brand called the Lytra Torch 2.0. We're going to take all the Loom Cube lights and all the Lytra Torch lights, match them against each other, and see which one comes out on top. First, let's unbox these little guys. This is the original Lytra Torch. It comes with a few mounting accessories and a diffusion bulb. Nothing fancy in here, but I wasn't expecting as much. It also has a micro USB charging cord. Taking a look at the light itself, it is a bit smaller than the Loom Cube, but it's bigger than the Loom Cube Air. On the front of the light, it has 10 little LEDs that creates the illumination for the light. Next, let's move on to the Lytra Torch 2.0. It basically has the same accessories, including mounting clips, charging cord, and diffusion bulb. Both of these lights weigh an identical 80 grams, but this one has 16 LED bulbs on the front of it instead of 10. You would think that that would make this light considerably brighter, but that's not always the case. We're going to find out more on that later. Here is a side-by-side -side look of all the lights. They all are pretty much built like tanks, and they're all really bright for their size, but let's see which one's the brightest. So on that note, let's start things off with the brightness test. For this test, all the lights are going to be exactly four feet away from the canvas. Not all of the beam angles are the same on these lights, meaning some are more spotted and some have a wider beam angle. One more note, in that last video I was saying lumens a lot, but it turns out what I meant to say was lux. So we've corrected that for this video and we'll be using lux from here on out. Bringing up the rear with a Lux rating of 196.9 Lux is the Loom Cube Air, which makes sense as that's the smallest light we have. Next up is the Lytra Torch 2.0 with a 278 Lux reading. The original Torch comes in next at 294 Lux. And leading the charge with a whopping 466 Lux is the original Loom Cube. 
Now, these results were very interesting to me because for both companies, the newer lights in their line were both not as bright as their original lights. Which told me two things. First, for the action cam crowd, these lights were already bright enough and having them brighter was not a necessity. And two, what people really wanted was more color accuracy out of these lights. The original Loom Cube had a CRI of less than 80, and the original Lytra Torch was under 70, which is terrible readings on a CRI. The Loom Cube Air and the Lytra Torch 2, on the other hand, both have a CRI of above 90, which is very good for these small lights. So as it comes to just raw output, the original Loom Cube wins, but it doesn't win in color accuracy, obviously. Next up, all of these lights are durable and waterproof. I'm not going to beat the hell out of them and test their durability, but I can tell you their waterproof rating and see which ones has the best of those. Both the Loom Cube Air and the Lytra Torch can only go down 30 feet underwater. Next up is the Lytra Torch 2.0, which can go down double that at 60 feet. But winning this underwater challenge again is the original Loom Cube, which can go underwater 100 feet. Probably because of this weird little locking nut that keeps the port closed. Now, when it comes to accessories for these lights, we're just going to call it a wash. There are a slew of accessories for all these lights, which unfortunately are not swappable between systems, which would have been awesome. They all have different gels you can get for them, diffusion bulbs, diffusion panels. There's just a lot of accessories that they all have. All of these lights, except for the original Loom Cube, also have magnets on the back, but the one on the back of the Loom Cube Air seems to be much stronger than the one on the Lytra lights. Now, up to this point, most of the tests have been pretty neck and neck. This is when the Loom Cube separates itself from the Lytra Torch. The one big difference between these lights is the Lytra lights don't have an app for them. That is huge. The Loom Cube app lets you dial in multiple lights, it lets you fine tune their brightness, or you can use it as a smart flash. The torch lights have no way of doing any of this. And even without the app, there's much more fine detail with the Loom Cube lights than the Lytra lights. Both Lytra lights you only compress for three different brightnesses. The Loom Cube Air you compress five different brightnesses, and the Loom Cube Original 10 different brightnesses. Battery power with all these lights is pretty similar, with all of them going from about 30 to 40 minutes when at full power. And they also all can be run while charging. So after all this, I'm not convinced that Lytra lights are better than Loom Cube lights. The Loom Cube lights are just a bit more detail rich than the Lytra ones. I'm not saying Lytra are bad lights, I, I like them very much. They, just not having an app is a huge loss for that company. If they came out with an app tomorrow, it would be neck and neck with the Loom Cube. Now the ultimate equalizer in situations like this is price. If the Lytras came in at much cheaper than the Loom Cubes, the Lytras could win. But the Lytra Torch 2.0 is the same price as the original Loom Cube and more expensive than the Loom Cube Air. Both the original Loom Cube and the Lytra Torch 2.0 come in at $80. The Loom Cube Air comes in at $70. And if you can find the original Lytra Torch, I found it for about 50 bucks. So that's actually a little bit cheaper. Well, that's all I got for you today. It feels good to be back in the saddle again, putting another video out. Not a real long one, but one that a lot of people wanted for a while. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button over there. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and consider subscribing or hitting that little bell. If you have any questions or you just want to debate me about which of these lights is better, go ahead and hit me up in the comments. But I tell you, after being on this short film shoot, I believe this statement more than ever. It's not a competition. Let's all rise in this business together. See you guys next time.